Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman announced his retirement from football after failing a physical, then being released by the New England Patriots. He put out a video on the New England Patriots social media thanking them and, and saying that, you know, he's a Patriot for life. Um, and, you know, this led to a lot of people online, a lot of Patriots fans, and a lot of uh, saying that he ha is a Hall of Famer. Now, this started a very interesting conversation about his career because Julian Edelman has been there, done that a, a lot of times. He's been the arguably the number one receiver for Tom Brady for a while now. He's been one of the most consistent receivers to that Tom Brady's had throughout his career. And he's provided a lot to that organization. But a Hall of Famer, I think I can say for myself at least, that's a bit of an overstatement on Julian Edelman. We'll get into that. But, Andrew, what do you think about this conversation? Is Julian Edelman a Hall of Famer? I don't think he's a – he's not a – he might get in third or fourth ballot. Uh, definitely not a first ballot. If Calvin Johnson's not a first ballot Hall of Famer, this guy, I don't give a fuck about the – switch this dude and Calvin Johnson, and you tell me if Calvin Johnson's a Hall of Famer. That's a fucking Lully, given the talent alone. But – um, I just don't think this dude, you know, he, he did have the postseason success. He did, um, did, he did win a Super Bowl MVP. He, he was the lone offensive threat in the historically, what is it? The historically worst offensive Super Bowl ever, which was that, that, uh, that, uh, that Rams, uh, that Patriots, Rams Super Bowl. Patriots Super Bowl. He was the lone offensive star in a Super Bowl where there was no offense. So, I mean, the body of work is there. It's just, you put up his career numbers next to other dudes, like, you know, Chad Ochocinco, you, you put his numbers up next to other dudes that are like, you know, that people are like campaigning to get them dudes in the hall of fame. I, I don't see it, dude. He does have the postseason success, but you got to understand too. He was playing with the best quarterback ever, and mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of dudes who could have who could have done what Julian Edelman. A lot of dudes who could have done what Julian Edelman did on that spot. He was just right place, right time. I don't think right place, right time is good enough to yeah. get you into the Hall of Fame. Like I said if before, it were, Dave, Johnson. If it were David Tyree, would be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You yeah, put anybody so. there, dude. Plaxico. Pla think about dudes that were more talented than Edelman. That you know, you you could have swapped. Like think about all the dudes you could have swapped out for Edelman. They, they then then they would all. So I yeah, don't. I don't so he, he might be a third or fourth ballot, but here's what I will say. Uh, personally, I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. Um, he's definitely going to go in the Patriots Ring of Honor. He might be one of the best players the Patriots have ever had, and that's fine, and that can be true. But like you said, the numbers don't align. He the, especially compared to the players of his generation, they they don't align. You know. Had he played, like, you know, maybe four or five more years, I think that would be a conversation. That would be an honest conversation. But, unfortunately, he can't. And that's just and that's just the truth. He was never a Calvin Johnson. He was never even Wes Walker, really, if we're being honest. At his best, who, like, you're taking Wes Walker over uh, Julian Edelman. Again, all of this stuff is okay. Julian Edelman is still, you know, a name of this generation we're going to remember. And all that, like, like he's like he's gonna be the Patriots Ring of Honor, as I said. He's like, like they build a statue for him, mazel. If uh, if you're uh, if you're uh, in New England, that's fine. But if you want to be in the Hall of Fame, you you gotta be a prime time guy. That's just the truth. And I will say this though, if if Ryan Fitzpatrick gets into the Hall of Fame, then I think someone like Julian Edelman can totally get it. If here's like because there's been this weird campaign of like oh get Ryan Fitzpatrick in the Hall of Fame and I think like it started out as a meme a little bit and it kind of transcended into like something that became real and I'm not saying that you know I think Ryan Fitzpatrick's had one of the most interesting stories of any quarterback ever like like just as he's like the ultimate journeyman like he's probably the best journeyman quarterback ever and then you get into the conversation of is that is being the best journeyman ever in the NFL worthy of being in the Hall of Fame? And it's a weird conversation to get into because at that point, you know, where was Vinny Testaverde's Hall of Fame uh, um, induction? Where were like where were like there? There's been journeyman quarterbacks before, and they haven't gotten in. And it's because if you want to be in the Hall of Fame, it's about the talent and the ability, and that's what it comes down to a lot of times, and the production on the field. You have to have all three to get in. 
And honestly, honestly, like for Julian Edelman, the production was fine. The talent was the talent was good, but it wasn't great. And, you know, the ability when he was on the field, he, he was good. He, he could he could he was a he was a very, very good slot receiver. But it's not enough to get you in the Hall of Fame. Much like Ryan Fitzpatrick, a very, very good uh, veteran quarterback, but was never really great. And you have to be great, I think, to get into the Hall of Fame. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.